We really were quite excited about this after the initial apprehension about uh, another project that we were entering. Lively, exciting, a fun place to be. Can you show me? Yes, yeah, show me around. Please, show me some of these places. Yeah. The children are always in the school and involved in, in practical investigative activities. We don't have a timetable in our school, so you will never see one set lesson happening at any particular time. For instance, these children here are involved in an art activity and their, their fellow pupils in this Year 3 class, they're doing other things that will be linked. Children are very much involved in directing their own learning. When we've um, finished the work, we write, we shared in a box to say that we've done that piece of work. It's very flexible, very fluid, so the children never actually put a piece of work away unfinished. Oh, there's no children. Ah, well, that's, that's another sort of different feature of the school. Uh, we have flexible play times. And of course, we always look at everything in terms of pluses and minuses. Yeah. And if there are a lot more pluses than minuses, then we give it a go. The most important thing is first-hand experience, which the children find really exciting. When it comes to capturing this kind of learning, mm. how would you do that? knowing that we work on first-hand experiences, this investigative way of working. We all got together and decided that if we wanted to show somebody actually the way that we worked, the best way of doing it would be to make sure we're covering all the different areas of the curriculum and showing the, the practical way that we do deliver the curriculum. What do you think might happen? What do you think, George, might happen? Cora, and you can hold the jug. Experiment last week, and we had to be really had to do some fair testing. What did we have to do to make sure every time we tested it, what did we have to do? Ten drops. Four. To me, it's a lot bigger than Jugga. He looks a lot taller. I know. Lots of nice different colours. That's lovely. Well done. It's heavy as well. Good. Can you put that back across the tumbler? Have a good feel. It's really hot, isn't it? Pass it on to Tom. Let him have a feel. I think it's cold. Really. It's not, is it? What is it? Um, it's fizzy. Don't think it's fizzy. It could be though, couldn't it? Yeah. I'm not sure. Then this one is not. <laughs> Right, okay. It's more than two, isn't it? I don't think there's going to be any room, do you? Right, good boy. Mm. Right, thank you. It's a really big job. It's a really big job. What I'm going to do now is just really slowly pour it in. I'm going to have a little look and see what happens to those things. Don't let it leak again. What's happening to the bead? It's floating. It is floating. What's happening to the feather? It is floating. No. Which things are staying put? Which are too heavy to float? My stones are. Little stones, yes. What else? Okay, we're going to take it to the freezer. I've done it all. Really comes 
see if you can measure around your waist and keep, keep a straight one, just two between you. Right, would you like to stand up? Topic this term is a science one, a force to be reckoned with. We will set a task complete aerobic <laughs> stance based on pushes and pulls. All we were given were seven basic aerobic steps. Then we talked about the different families, the jump family, the support family and the spin family. When lunging, we pushed out our arms and legs, then pulled them in. This is one that's part of the jump family. We did 480 degree turns in a pencil jump, but then changed it to jumping jacks. We just had to make sure that we moved on the count of eight and used math shapes to work on. What can you hear? Recorders. Recorders. What? Playing. Watch it. Um, uh, yeah, that's right. It's 70. 70. Well, high. Yeah. Slipping, sliding, round and round, wrong direction, upside down. Puffy snow crunching under my feet. Feet are freezing, slope so steep. Does the surface area at the bottom of the ramp make a difference to how far the buggy travels? The variables we're going to keep the same are the ramp and the buggy. We are also going to change the material at the bottom such as cloth and paper. Our hypothesis is now we've changed it to soapy water that it'll go further because of less friction. Di, what was the experience of making that video? It was really interesting for us, um, for us as staff, I think, and for the children as well. They really did enjoy the experience. And we were all amazed at actually what it picked up that we wouldn't normally see as teachers in the classroom. So as a learning curve, I think from discussion, you would have said the same thing, wouldn't you, Janet? We're, we've all decided that it's really, it has got a, a, a place in, um, in the way that we work in school, hasn't it? Yes, it has. And what we actually did was watch the film together as a staff. Mm. Uh, and interestingly, staff that don't work with Dice children, for instance, were picking up all sorts of things that you actually hadn't seen in the film mm. to begin with. So it gives people a really good sort of... Uh, different perspective on children's mm. behaviour and how they approach things. Mm. And we had some real interesting discussions mm. of when it we It was a watching. global thing, wasn't it? Because when you're actually in the classroom, you tend to be focusing on a small area. But it, it's almost like having that extra eye where you're standing back and seeing all of the sorts of things that, that were happening. And that because it's actually recorded, then you can go back and think, well, if I do it again, I could do this much better. Mm. I think it's cool, isn't it? It's not, is it? What is it? Um, it's fizzy. Don't think it's fizzy. It could be though, couldn't it? Kate, you're from a local school, yeah. part of a network. What did you think about that video? I thought it was really super to have the opportunity to see how another school um, does particular areas of the curriculum. Um, a video that's made like this of great things that are going on somewhere else. You can actually take ideas from that. You might not always use them in the same way. It might be that that's just the spark that sets something off for your own school. We've talked about observation, but what does that all mean then for schools? I can think of umpteen ways already that we will be beginning to use it. Can we see the continuity and progression because we plan for that, but do we have evidence? And as Di said, it's just another aspect of school sort of self-evaluation, mm. really. I found as well, after I'd done that video, even though it was very basic, 
I felt really good about myself, you know, that I'd actually mm -hmm. done something that I'd never ever done before. Can we tell you everybody else was really thrilled with all <laughs> yeah. <of> as well? <laughs> I think it's quite interesting to watch a video back and find out some of the learning sometimes that's going on that you're not even aware of. It's not just the learning though, it's the self-esteem. When, when I played back what I'd recorded, you could really see that the, the bodies were like, wow, you know, seeing themselves on the screen. It, um, so it, it isn't just, it's part of their development, I think, as well, as well as uh, the staff. If we can encourage children mm. to, to access a video camera, to record what they feel is mm. important, because I think as adults, we assume an awful lot and children see things through a different eye. Only the other week, two of the boys asked if they could have access to a camera to film as part of their presentation. That was as a result of, as a result the video, of yes. doing the video. So they've yes. absorbed the potential. Yes, yes. Far quicker, I think, than I had. It's another tool, it's one we hadn't thought of before and it's one we're quite excited about using. But it's for discussion as well, isn't it? Yes. Because if you've, had a, if you've been observing a lesson, you have to wait mm. and then you can't always exactly recapture the moment that you want to discuss mm. yes. um, with somebody else. But if it's actually there on film, it's something very... It's there, isn't it? And you can say, well, you know, when, what was happening when this... Yeah, and actually show the clip. So where do you think you take it from here? Wow, how long is a piece of string? I think, <laughs> I think there are endless possibilities. So what, what initially seemed a scary moment... Everybody, everybody, when I mentioned it, said, oh, oh. no. <laughs> that was the response I got from, you know, it was from it was. all staff. Yes. And yet now, they're, I, I think everybody's on board, aren't yes, they? Yes, they're really enthusiastic. Mm. They will give it a go. Well, thank you very much. And we look forward to seeing another teacher video, maybe from all of you. <laughs> Watch this space. <laughs>